Why moms to be should care about CMV. Okay, what is CMV? It's cytomegalovirus, and it's a common virus that a lot of people are infected with. The good news? It doesn't affect most people. For them, there are no symptoms. In fact, some people even call CMV the silent virus because it's so harmless to many. The bad news? It can be pretty serious for certain groups of people. The group that we're concerned about here are unborn babies. They can catch it from their moms. That's called congenital CMV. And it does affect the babies. There can be bad symptoms. Here are the statistics. About one in every 150 babies is born with CMV. Of those, 80 in 100 are fine. No symptoms at birth, no symptoms ever. It's the 20 out of 100 that we're concerned with here. The effects of CMV on those babies can be pretty scary. At birth, these can be premature birth, liver, lung, or spleen problems, small size at birth and small head size, seizures. For some, the symptoms develop after birth, including hearing and or vision loss, mental disability, small head size, lack of coordination, seizures, and in really rare cases, even death. Now remember, these are babies that catch the virus before they are born, inside of mom. Kids who catch it after they are born are fine. Remember we said it was a common virus that people may not even know they have? That might make you worry that you already have the virus and that you will pass it to your baby. Okay, listen carefully. If you had the virus for months or years, there is virtually no chance that your baby will be infected. It's only when a woman becomes infected right before conception or when the baby is in the womb that the infection passes to the baby. So what we want to do here is to reduce the chance that you will transmit the virus to your baby by reducing your chances of being infected with the virus at the wrong time. More good news here. What you have to do is really simple, ridiculously simple. You see, the virus is transmitted via bodily fluids like urine and saliva. Ironically, the person you are most likely to catch it from is a baby, maybe your own, or maybe you come in contact with other people's kids. So if you are pregnant or planning to become pregnant, follow these simple steps. Wash your hands often with soap and water for 15 to 20 seconds, especially after changing diapers, feeding a young child, wiping a young child's nose or drool, handling children's toys. Do not share food, drinks, or eating utensils used by young children. Do not put a child's pacifier in your mouth. Do not share a toothbrush with a young child. Avoid contact with saliva when kissing a child. Kiss them on the top of the head, not the mouth or face. Clean toys, countertops, and other surfaces that come into contact with children's urine or saliva. So there it is, CMV. It can be really serious for unborn babies, but it's really simple to reduce the number of babies who are born with it. Just a few common sense things to do and not to do.